Hey y'all. You already know who it is. My nine to five has really been nine to five in. So the only time I have to make videos is really on the weekend and that is so limiting but we gonna get into it this is not necessarily a trends video um i'm sure some of these things are trends but i'm trying to get away from shopping like that i am really just trying to consider like what my lifestyle is like what makes me feel good what things i'm comfortable in also keeping in mind like cost and sustainability girl um because the price of everything has gone up which means that the disposable income has come down <laughs> and i still like clothes and i still like shopping but i'm just unwilling to be buying like low quality high cost stuff I'm looking at shoes Zara um, and things that I am not going to be wearing for like years to come and with all that said <laughs> let me actually get into this so first thing I said was bomber jackets I love the way that they look I'm gonna put let me scoot over a little bit for my pictures of course you have like Taylor Russell she always has the best coats jackets like I think I have a couple of pictures of her throughout this. Um, I love that you can wear bombers like on some real casual, like with cargo pants, with jeans, all of that, right? But then I also like the idea of wearing them with like a mini skirt, um, like a slip dress even if it's not too cold, you know, you can wear tights. I already said this, but I really do want some colored tights, but I just need them to be the right color. I was looking at red tights, but red might be too much for me. Um, so maybe like green or maybe even just like white. Um, baby pink is also really cute, especially baby pink looks good with brown and black. But anyway, bomber jackets. I also like the canvas ones. Definitely more casual looking. I would love to find one of these for like I don't know like 25 bucks or less I feel like I can I can will this into existence at the thrift store next thing um trenches like trench coats right so first I have here like leather trenches um these are just really classic and classy and like as someone who lives a very like casual <laughs> casual life like I love the way that these long leather coats look with like jeans and like a t-shirt and sneakers right it kind of like elevates the outfit and it just makes it look like more intentional right it's a long leather coat is very like model off duty um and i feel like half of the pictures that i have are literally models off duty <laughs> of course you have like regular um trench coats i find these at the thrift all the time but i haven't found just like the perfect one and i don't know what that means for me i'm looking for just like that classic khaki color i like how these look layered with like a hoodie or something to dress them down i'm not trying to look like you know inspector gadget but <laughs> last would be like denim trench coats so this feels like something that is I don't know like a holdover from the whole Y2K thing right I got a denim trench I have not worn it which is a shame I think because I keep looking for an occasion and I feel like I gotta really be like serving a look to pull this trench out um next I said suits like oversized though like no offense to Michelle Obama, I'm not talking, you know, Kamala Harris, not like a pantsuit <laughs> in that way, but like an oversized, also like Balenciaga type of, you know, like a men's suit. Also, um, like denim, like suits, <laughs> um, but basically just like denim matching sets. I have a vision. I want a denim like jacket in matching jeans dark denim preferably like brown stitching 
and I want it to fit kind of loose. I'm not trying to look like one of the Rough Riders, but I have a, <laughs> this is really what I'm going for. Like I want it oversized, but then also keep in mind, I am short and not skinny. So this is something that like, if I found it and it was close enough to what I was looking for, I would just get it tailored spend the extra money i would probably need to like have the jacket cropped and have the jeans hemmed and taken in but for something that i feel like i could wear like the thought of like a matching denim set and like some pointed toe heels and like a little crop top underneath the jacket maybe like the first button buttoned up are y'all seeing it i see it <laughs> um so yeah um denim suits and then the next thing I'm excited for, looking for, um, I said pops of color. So this could be like colored outerwear, um, like colored leather. I love like green. If I could find like a colored leather jacket and like a color that makes sense for me, I would love to find a green one, honestly. That's what I, when I'm, I'm thinking green but also like those racing jackets if I found one in like a red or orange or if it had like a red stripe or an orange stripe or something like that I'm here for that too if you were wearing like a totally neutral like a regular trench coat I love the idea especially in winter when everyone wants to just wear like black and gray um, of doing a color underneath so still getting use out of like you know the more colorful things that you wear in spring and summer but just like finding ways to layer them and still make them work and then also like a pop of color in the shoe or accessory i guess everybody has their their colors that they gravitate towards i am mostly neutral but i love not this pillow being the same as you can see i love i like green um i am really into orange and I would say red like here and there and you know what I'm actually trying not trying but I may end up trying like lavender I just think that like lavender against like green against brown looks so good and it's like unexpected there's this Sean Brown like purple tote bag that I keep looking at and keep looking at and just will not bite the bullet and buy it and I don't know why but anyway <laughs> um and since I was talking about pops of color this kind of goes into the next thing which is fur I am looking for a fur hat here is like a bright ass bright red fur I have seen these in green I've seen them in patterns of course you have like your classic like black or brown but I do want a fur bucket hat um, or just it don't even have to be a bucket hat but a fur hat um, extra points if it's in a fun color okay so next I said ear jewelry and I said ear jewelry and not earrings because I do have stretched ears and I am at a um, 13 millimeter right now, which is a half inch. I'm actively in like the stretching stage right now. They are not like healed. Um, so I haven't bought any jewelry, but um, within the next couple of months, I want to get like some hangers, some cute like stones, just like some different jewelry next would be I said silver rings I know that's real basic I don't mean just generally silver rings I'm looking for specific things so like this is really I've been looking on eBay I have bought a couple of sterling silver rings and they haven't fit so wish me luck I have a couple things in my watch list you can find like vintage sterling silver so cheap on eBay like at any point in time I can go on there and find like I don't know stuff for like less than ten dollars y'all seriously so um looking out I, I've I've been more into like silver jewelry lately I would say so on the lookout for that and then this isn't really I guess this goes in the accessory category but it's gold teeth look 2024 is the year that 
I get me a couple little gold teeth to wear. I think they're so cute. I love the idea. Like, you see how she has the turtleneck on and the gold teeth? It's like, you can still kind of dress it up. Like, especially when everything else is really, like, understated. And it's just, like, something real cute. Or, like, a gap filler. Um, you know, as much as my granny hates it. <laughs> Every time she sees me, she reminds me that I did not wear my retainer. You damn right, I didn't wear it. <laughs> I feel like I had cat hair on my lip gloss. Probably did. Um, let's get into a little bit of makeup. So, like a lot of people, I think during the pandemic, like, I totally stopped wearing makeup. And I was someone who used to wear makeup to work every day. I, like go through ups and downs when I'm depressed I don't be wearing no makeup but when I'm like feeling good and have the time I will sit and do my makeup I have a pretty quick routine it doesn't take long but um it's been kind of boring and I want to like have more fun so graphic liner like things that can still be seen even with glasses so just like interesting liner stuff like under the eyebrow um just like I just want to have fun you know I do have contacts I don't wear them often but um even just for the sake of doing some fun makeup I'm willing to put contacts and also set like a wash of color which also like if you wear glasses and you feel like you can't see your eye makeup if you just have like you know yellow or green or just like a color like just blended and kind of fading out I think that's really pretty it's kind of flows into it which is 80s blush I love blush <laughs> as far as like face makeup um like I said I'm, I don't do a ton of like eye makeup and honestly I tend to just wear lip gloss every day now but I do still love blush and so I want to start wearing it just more dramatically i love kind of like especially on brown skin like a orange a red a plum just like on some real i'm trying to think of like a good example but when i'm thinking like 80s makeup i'm thinking like i don't know <laughs> honestly i'm thinking patty labelle <laughs> i'm thinking of like dramatic you know, eight, that's the thing. Everyone hates on the 80s fashion and 80s makeup. It's mostly bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But interior design in the 80s was like that. And I'm going to say blush. They was doing blush the way I feel like blush needs to be done. Like, the point is that you're supposed to see it. And the girls don't be... The girls don't wear blush the way I need them to wear blush no more so I'm gonna do it I I volunteer as tribute no. <laughs> the last things um bleached brows have been a thing for like the last three years I get it I'm still on it so I haven't bleached my brows in several weeks at this point I just been filling them in but I love how many I love the options that bleach brows gives you it kind of like erases them without being as dramatic as like plucking them out even though honestly the next thing I said I was excited for was 90s brows thin brows I watched Love Jones this week and Nia Long's eyebrows looked so damn good and I was just like no offense to thick brows but damn those thin brows are just it's something so sexy and grown about them so i'm going back to thin brows like this is as thick as i'll go and honestly to me they could be thinner and then here is an honorable mention that i am literally excited to wear because i ordered it <laughs> is the denim tail fars i got the medium in blue denim detailing is what did it for me the brown stitching the little tabs the the little um the little like badge the little um on the back just cute it's cute as hell and i love the that the denim looks kind of distressed because i feel like 
this will be like a everyday bag that I can really like beat up um and it's gonna look so cute with like my bomber jacket and all of my leather and all of that stuff like it'll be something different because I don't know wearing like leather leather bag on leather jacket it's just like don't you want to switch the textures up I do but yeah I'm excited for that and also because it's a denim bag I've been looking for like cute pins and like patches and things that I can put on it um because I do like the whole like you know the the Birkin the Jane Birkin kind of like accessorizing your your purse thing I think it's really cute and I love seeing girls with all kinds of dumb crap hanging off their bags like the keychains and the charms and the, this and the that so um I love the idea of being able to like customize this new Telfar and yeah I think that is it y'all for the next one bye